Hello, and welcome to another episode of Edgecraft. I am your host, Matt, and it is great to see you today. Now, I am standing in front of uh, the wood farm that we tried to build last episode. And I shouldn't really say tried, because we did build it, and it works great now. It just took me forever to fix it. Um, the problem is, of course, we are out of bone meal, a necessary ingredient. However, between episodes, I have done a couple of things. Uh, the first thing I've done, you might notice the game is running so much smoother. Look at this. I'm, I'm not lagging anymore. Look at the glass. Do you see the glass? How different this looks? Things look a little bit different. I am using something called Optifine, and it is helping my game run so much faster and smoother, and it's just making it look so much crisper. And you can see the detail so much better. Look at it. Oh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So that's number one. Number two is that I was going through a bunch of caves and exploring because I've been searching and searching and searching for a skeleton spawner. And while I was searching, I found something awesome. And it is not too far away. Whoops, I fell. <laughs> uh, it's right over here. Uh, let's see, I put a bunch of torches down to help me find it again. I think it's right on the other side of this ridge. Yep, there are the torches, I see them. So it's pretty close. I just went through a whole bunch of caves everywhere I could find because generally the spawners are pretty close to the surface. And I created a little stairway down for myself, because this was actually just an open hole. And you drop down into this water, go around the corner, and wouldn't you know it, right here is a skeleton spawner. So this is awesome. This is pretty close to our base. Ooh, some iron. And um, inside the chests, we got a golden apple. Um, melon, beetroot, nothing special. Ooh, a music disc. That's cool. So just just a few things. I'm gonna take those and let's see what we got in here. Uh, iron horse armor, some bones, bones. Of, I'll take. So nothing, nothing too special. But this, 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 this is gonna help us get some bone meal. So today I'm going to build another farm. It's not going to be a um, zombie farm, but it's going to look just like the zombie farm. It's going to be a skeleton farm. Now, I'm not going to show you all the bits and details like I did last time because you've seen me make um, a farm like that before. So this time, I'm just going to kind of uh, focus on the important bits. So I'm going to get started on that and I will be back with you when I've got something together. All right, see you soon. Okay, so um, we got it done. It was pretty fast, actually. Um, I created a little system here where I could just kill them up top because what I realized from the zombie farm is I don't have to drop them very far from gonna let them land in water. Um, so what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, just to show you, I have a hopper down there, and that hopper leads into a chest, and that leads into another chest so I can collect all those wonderful skeleton bones. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to head on down. And um, I heard some zombies the last time I was down here, but we got to break those torches before we uh, go. Do you hear that? Hear those zombies? I hear zombies. I hear lots of zombies. And I don't want to hear zombies. Because that will decrease our spawn rates. So I'd really like to know where these zombies are coming from. And they sound like they're coming from this direction, but I really just can't tell. And this is just me digging into the side of a mountain at this point. Uh, yeah. Who knows? I, I don't know. Maybe they're above me? No. Yeah. 
Oh well. Um, I, I just don't know where those zombies are. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot we have to be within 16 blocks of the spawner for it to work. Oh, I don't know. Our little killing platform is probably... Oh, it's way too far away. We're going to have to fix it. Okay. Well, anyway. Normal room. Same. Just got to break the torches. Water pushes you down here. Pushes you down here. Here you go. Do, 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 do. You know, now that I have ice, I could probably replace this with ice and they'll slide really fast right across. Come up here, you float all the way up to the top, boop. You come over here, you float on down, boop, and there we go. But, uh, yeah, I remembered. I gotta make it go down farther. Alright, I can't be on the surface. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Alright, I'll be back. I need to make this go down farther. Okay, so we've got the hopper and the chest system all figured out. So if I toss a piece of glass, for example, in here, boop, 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 three pieces of glass go down, three pieces of glass in the chest. Wonderful, fantastic. I will put the stone slab there and there in just a second, but I have to go do something dangerous. So what I need to do, of course, is patch up this hole. So we'll come out one. We'll patch and patch. We will fall into the room. And then very, very carefully, we will break all of these torches. And this is, of course, the scary part, as always, because now the skeletons are going to start spawning and they can shoot me. Zombies are easier. They have to hit you. Skeletons sh shoot you like that. I'm already getting hit. Ugh. Go. Get down there. And now it is completely dark in here. Ugh. Alright. Oh, I was going to fill that in with the ice. Darn it. Alright. And we come down. And right there. And slabs. Slab and slab. And now the skeletons will fall right in there. Oh, they still hit me. Hmm. Maybe I gotta come up with a better way. So maybe, maybe they can't see my face. What if, is this my, okay, what if I come down a little bit and I'm like this. They can still see me. <laughs> they can still see me. Um, what about if I... There. Can't see me now, can you? Can I... Yeah, I can still hit them. Hmm. What I want to do, though, is I want to get a little bit of a bigger window. Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. This is fantastic. They don't shoot me. I can swipe them. Everything gets picked up. Oh, this is fantastic. I could just actually hold the mouse button down. Oh, it's breaking that block, though. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Hmm. Let's see how many uh, bones we've gotten so far. Wow. Oh, I forgot about the bows. You know what? That'll help me with dispensers, I guess. But I should probably put in another chest or two because that's going to collect a lot of junk. Oh, gross. Um, hmm. All right. All right, all right, all right. But I am getting lots of bones. I mean, I got 29 bones already. Plus another five I picked up myself. So this is good. Okay. So, um, what we need to do next is... Where's my bed? All right, I got my bed. Is it dark out? It is light out. Okay. We need to go up to the surface because it is super, 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 super dark here. Look at that. 
arrow. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Skeleton. Bye, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, he's not... He's not falling. We should replace that block there with ice, too. Yeah, we need to do this. All right. So I'm going to light up the area because I really, really don't want a whole bunch of nasty things spawning up here while I am down there taking away my spawn rates. So this is certainly not the um, most beautiful way of lighting up anything, but it, uh, it does the job. <laughs> kind of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose I could go into a super fast time mode while I do this. Should we do that? All right, let's go into a super fast mode while I'm placing all these torches down. These hundreds of torches. Okay, so for today's super fast uh, session, I want to talk to you about something interesting. I want to talk to you about lies. Now, not the lies you tell, because we all tell lies, um, but the lies that are told to you by the enemy. And what I mean by the enemy is the devil, Satan. See, he's a very, very crafty liar, and he lies to us all the time. And the way he lies to us is very interesting. He tells us the truth, or at least part of the truth. He did this to Jesus. Uh, of course, Jesus didn't fall for it because he's God. And he did this to Adam and Eve, and he does the same thing every day to you. He tells you part of the truth, and so you believe the lie. Um, for example, back in the garden with Adam and Eve, the serpent or the devil says to them, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Now, he knows what God said. He was there. So, of course, Eve says, well, no, we can eat from any fruit we want, any tree we want. We just can't eat from that tree. Because if we do, God says we'll die. And what the devil says is, you will certainly not die. For God knows when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Now, see, right there, all of that is kind of the truth. He says you will not die. Well, that's true. Eating that didn't kill Adam and Eve, but it and it did open their eyes, knowing the difference between good and evil. But here's the problem. There was no evil before. Everything was perfect. That introduced sin. That introduced evil. And so the serpent tricked them. And the serpent tricks you all the time. They tell you things that, you know, well, you're bad at this, and you're not good at this, and you're short or ugly or whatever. And those things, they get inside your head, and they're not true. But he knows that you're thinking those things already. So be careful, and don't believe the lies that he tells. Okay, so we got two options. We can take the water out. And they fall to their death. And let's uh, let's see if we can watch. Oh, look, see, they just fall to their death, uh, burning on fire if it's daylight. And they still drop lots of great things. Um, we're going to get tons of arrows out of this. Look at this. We've already got 64, 63, two stacks of bones. That is awesome. Oh, just got some more arrows. I wonder, do they drop bones if they just fall to their death, or do they only drop arrows? Because I really don't want the bows. Um, I prefer just to get these. Um, so I wonder, let's, let's see. Okay, if you just dropped, let's say, did we get any additional bones? We did, we got two more bones. Okay, so we do get bones from the, um, the drops. That's good. Um, not as much as if we hit them with our looting sword, of course, because that's going to give us a lot more, uh, because we've got uh, looting three on there. So, for example, that guy, and this guy, and this guy, and these guys, and these guys. Look at that. That was huge. Um, yeah, look at all those bones. Look at that. That's a lot. All right. Uh, tons of arrows. What am I going to do with all these arrows? I guess I don't need an uh, infinity bow. I could put mending on here instead. 
Um, so, all right. So that's the um, skeleton farm completed. Now what I want to do is I want to take some of these bones. kind of wanted a few more. So I want to go do the uh, wood farm. Wow, man, these guys are really coming down uh, all of a sudden. I wonder... Hmm. I really would prefer to be standing closer. I don't like standing here. I guess I could stand right there, though. No. Yeah. I don't know. This is, this is a fine spot. It's just... I want, I want the drops to be higher. I want more skeletons to fall um, as a result of this farm. And uh, let's see, did we get any more bones? 27 more. Man, we are, we are racking these things up. Um, okay, let's go with uh, three stacks. We'll get three stacks of bones. That'll give us a decent amount of bone meal. So let me just do this probably just for, we're already at 48, so maybe like three or four more skeletons. Let's see. Come on, Mr. Skeleton. Boom. There's one. Two. I saw some bones drop. That's good. Come on, Mr. Skeleton. Come on. Matt is waiting for you with a big sword. Boom. All right. Let's see how many we got from just those three. 12 bones. Ah, we can wait one more and get one more skeleton. Let's see. Yeah, that's maybe four, four, three stacks. All right, I'm happy. We can leave here now uh, with these three stacks of bones, and let's go actually see <laughs> our um, wood farm in action because I am eager to test that out with some more. Look at that. They're just going to keep on going. I should probably have taken that water away, but that's okay. That is okay. We will get some more later. I'll have to AFK there overnight or something and just get tons of bones. Okay, so what we need to do now that we've got the bones is we need to grab our saplings. The sun? Oh, the sun's about to set. Okay. I'll have to go to sleep real quick, too. All right, so we need saplings. There's our oak saplings. Lots of those. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I need to put my ice away. I was using that. Uh, I could put that away. I could put this back over there. Um, bone meal. Lots and lots and lots of bone meal. Look at that. Tons of the stuff. This is fantastic. That is a lot. All right, let's go to sleep. So it's nice and bright out and maybe we can finally see this wood farm in action goodness all right all right wood farm you're not going to do this to me two episodes in a row i want to see tons of trees mm, does this have to be switched on off oh, there we go what's uh, is this broken? What did I do? What did I do? I don't know what I did. Here. Oh, it's broken again. <laughs> I just can't win. Oh. All right. Give me a second. I'll figure this out. Okay, I think I solved the problem. I think I solved the problem. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, that's good news. That's good news. All right, let's see what happens. Are you going to grow, tree? Are you going to grow for me? Please grow. Oh, please, please grow. Yes, and it worked. And stick another one. And we can stand right here. And every time it does that, we can put down another sampling let's see
Okay, so we've got a whole row of wood. Now watch what happens when I put this sapling down. You see that? It pushed the entire row forward one. And what it's going to do is it's going to slide those trees over and over and over, and eventually I'm going to get a whole giant block of uh, wood. All right. Back to the fast-paced music. Okay, and we're out of bone meal. <laughs> so that amount of bone meal got us, let's see, this entire row of trees, and oh, they're only two away. So basically, and that's two away, so two of these blocks. So that's one, two, three, four by nine. So that's 36 plus another 36, 72 logs. That's over a stack. So three, we had three stacks of bones. So three stacks of bones gets us, gets us a little over a stack of logs. Eh, that's something. <laughs> it gives us wood when we need it. All right. So not too shabby the next step i suppose is to just afk overnight or for a long time over at the uh, skeleton farm get a whole bunch of bones and um then we can have all the wood that we want but you know what that's going to be it for today's episode um we built a skeleton farm we got our wood machine working fantastic uh this is awesome and um yeah i'm feeling pretty good about today um, hope you enjoyed it. It was um, an interesting episode for sure because I definitely did not show you uh, the process of me making that skeleton farm. So I hope that was okay. I just didn't think you wanted to see it again. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and God bless. Bye.